Drug Abuse Research Symposium at Charles Drew University, sponsored by MITARP. And um, okay. it's great to see everybody. It's going to be a great day. Um, our MITARP grant is um, listed up here. Um, it's entitled Drug Addiction is a Brain Disease and It Matters. It was funded in 2004. Our competitive renewal was funded in September 2008. And our program officer is Vishnu Parohit. Our aims of our MITEP grant are to develop drug abuse research at Charles G. University, provide research development support and experiences to faculty and staff to facilitate independent drug abuse research careers, to foster interest in drug abuse research for students and residents and provide their re them research experience, provide for continued drug abuse research funded by NIDA or other agencies, and specifically to encourage the development of minority faculty and students. The theme of training and uh, education is drug is addiction is a brain disease and it matters. And we incorporate expertise at Charles Drew University in both the basic and clinical aspects of substance abuse. And as like the collaborations with universities such as UCLA, Western University, Cal State Dominguez Hills, Cal State San Bernardino, RAND, and University of Texas El Paso. We're really excited today to have representatives from the all these organizations, either in person or um, streaming. Um, we have a lot of student involvement in our MITAR program. The students rotate in basic science laboratories, clinical laboratory, clinical projects, and also epidemiological projects. We have a very close tie with Cal State Dominguez Hills. We have several Cal State Dominguez Hills students in the uh, room. are doing a great job. And um, uh, this one is just recently sent his master's, and a couple are close to getting their master's. Um, we also collaborate with programs like um, the um, El Camino College and Compton College. Uh, we have uh, students from King Drew Magnet High School and other high schools around the community. And we have Charles Drew University medical students and MPA students involved in our projects as well. The goal of Research Day today is to highlight substance use research at Charles Drew University and its affiliates, to expose uh, student and training research on substance abuse, expose potential mentees to potential substance abuse mentors, bring together substance abuse research for future seminars and uh, collaborations and funding opportunities, and expose research on um, uh, substance abuse at Charles Drew University to um, teaching and research faculty at our university and other universities, physicians from the surrounding community, including the ML Care Clinic and Health Clinic, drug abuse counselors, medical students, allied health professionals, community-based health organizations, and other health providers. We have a couple of new things this year, and I think especially want to thank uh, Sylvia in the back there for doing a great job of coordinating this um, little higher tech uh, AD uh, program that we've had this year. We are streaming live to an auditorium at uh, University of Texas El Paso. And um, we have close collaborations there. We're streaming to uh, Cal State San Bernardino personal computers for the people there that uh, couldn't make it in person today. Um, we have a new website um, on, on Charles University. It's research slash drug abuse research uh, where we're going to post all the talks, the uh, slides, the bios of the speakers and their photos. Um, and there, most of it is available now, and we hope to have the talk and everything complete by next week. Um, after I finish, um, Jose is going to go over the continuing education process and evaluation, and Angela Minifield is going to give the university to welcome. She's the Vice President for Strategic Advancement. Our distinguished speaker is Dr. Neil Benowitz, who's going to be speaking, um, uh-oh, this doesn't look right. Okay, Dr. Neil Benowitz is going to be speaking at from 9 to 10 on, on uh, Nick addiction and its implications for public health policy. We are going to have a very uh, interesting topic uh, presented by Dulce Kerma from 10 to 10.20 on secondhand smoke and type 2 diabetes and obesity, and a presentation from Christine Grella, Grella um, on uh, perspectives on understanding of these outcomes. We're going to have our morning break at 10.45. We're having a presentation by Robert the choose on preventing drug use among adolescents uh, from 11 to 1120, and a presentation by Laura Ray from 1120 to 1140 on medication for heavy drinking smokers, and for, for 1140 to 12 to 5, we have Susan Glasser Edwards presenting on psychological interventions for stimulant dependent adults. We have some training presentations both before lunch and after lunch. The before lunch ones are from 1205 to 1215 by um, Fatima. Amasera on hydrocodone containing prescription analgesics. And a 
presentation by Guadalupe Pacio, referencing quit attempts between black and white daily smokers of all smoking motives. We have our lunch break from 12.25 to 1.20. We have no food or drinks in the auditorium. And uh, we're also going to have posters at that time. The posters are going to be presented in the back wall. And if you come to visit the posters also while you get your lunch, and we're probably going to have the lunch in, in shifts. We'll have some of the room go out first, and some of the room look at the posters first, and then switch. The afternoon, we're going to have student presentations from uh, 120 to 130 by Deshaun Lee, PC2 Knockout Mice, Show Upper Regulation of the Opioid Receptor, and Florence Rosette. We'll be talking about single nucleotide polymorphisms in the dopamine tuber sector in association with differences in regional brain volumes. Um, we're having, again, our video conference from UTEP. Dr. Uh, Kristen Gasolink is going to be talking via video conference on uh, neuro neurobiological adaptions to chronic stress, implications for methamphetamine self-administration. Um, at 2 o'clock, we're going to be back here with self-administration cocaine enhances Q motivated behavior by Kim Blanc. And at uh, 2.15 to 2.30, we're going to have the characteristics of nicotinic acetylcholine receptors in the reward pathway by Dr. Chow. And R.B. Nazarian from Western University is going to be talking about diabetes potentiates nicotine reward and suppresses the dopamine sy uh, system. We have our afternoon break from 2.50 to 3.05. And we have further student presentations in the afternoon on modern exercise improves in methamphetamine user performance on neurocognitive and psychological processes. And positive effect is the source of resilience among treatment-seeking methamphetamine users. Um, we then close the day with um, Dr. Lotfer's talk on tobacco addiction from treatment to discovery, and Rashid IV and Mark Falls' presentation on effective nicotine plus a high-fat diet, or steatosis and anaphytosis, a deadly combination. At the end of the day, we're going to have prizes for the top student award. Uh, we're going to have um, some awards for uh, our night summer students, and we have the post-conference uh, evaluation. Uh, speakers, please adhere to your time limits. We're going to give you, uh, you can see the tax schedule, and we don't have any time for a runover, so we'll, we'll give you a five-minute, one-minute warning. Please both speak into this microphone and put this little microphone on your bell for the WebEx recording. Um, allow time for questions and try to repeat the question. Um, microphones, we have this one here and this one here. Um, the web streaming and podcast should be available at our website in the next uh, couple of days. And, and also make sure we have your email. We'll send out a reminder when it's up, and we'll, we'll send out a reminder for next year. The evaluations are going to be done by the Pacific Southwest Addiction Technology Transfer Center uh, Survey. We have the pre-conference evaluations in green and the post-conference evaluations in blue and turn, out the, turn in the completed form of registration. I want to especially thank Dr. Benowitz and I tried to PhD, not MD, but Dr. Dr. Benowitz for coming down from San Francisco, and he's going to be giving a great talk. Uh, Dr. Lennon's been very helpful in getting everything organized for this talk, and uh, she's always a good. Uh, where is she? Right here. Okay. Uh, we thank. Uh, I always thank Dr. Lennon. She's very, very, very helpful for our our, our MIDA grant. We thank the NIDA and uh, National Institute of Drug Abuse for funding. Our advisory committee is very, very helpful. Barbara. Barbara's over here. She's done a great job. She did all the organization, all the packets, and definitely deserves uh, some uh, acknowledgement. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, Sylvia Moreno, Kristen Mendez, and Jessica Escobedo did the video and conferencing. It's been a great uh, big task this year to try to get everything done, and we, we thank them. We have a lot of student helpers up there, and um, we thank all them. Um, the UCLA Integrated Substance Abuse Program Pacific Southwest Addiction Technology Transfer Center is co-sponsoring this with Tom Fries, Jose Gutierrez, and Beth Rutkowski. They're helping us with evaluation and also they help us uh, sending out the word about our conference. Uh, Dr. Dargan from Actis has been very helpful with um, additional funding and all his support and has a great job that Actis is doing on our campus. Um, and Jessica, is she outside there or is she here? Oh, I think there's... Jessica is our media consultant, and they've also been very helpful with uh, publicity and um, getting the word out. Um, you can contact me directly. I have my email and my phone number up there if you're interested in further studies, collaborations, um, and the like. Okay, Jose?